Hey everybody, it's Joe, and I am at the workbench kicking it cold school. <laughs> I actually got to reuse that joke because it was in the video that had to be scrapped. It just got swallowed up in technical problems. Instead, this week, we're going to be talking about... Well, we're going to be starting a series that is going to end with you making a... a having all the skills, at least, to make a little gaming miniature, like the ones that I make here. Um, and this is more or less going to end with with what was covered in chapter 10 of 3D Printing Blueprints, where we, we make a neat little teddy bear armature, except we're going to have to do a different project, because I can't reuse the, the projects in the book. So, uh, but it's going to stretch over several videos, and in each one I'm going to teach you a different thing that you're going to be able to use uh, to make it. And this week, we are starting with the skin modifier, the, the skin modifier in Blender. So the skin modifier um, works like this. I'll just add a simple cube, scale it up. I scaled it up in edit mode because I was being sneaky, and in edit mode I don't have to worry about uh, scale being a factor. But so I've just applied the skin modifier and take a look what happened. It took all of the lines, all of the vertices, or not the vertices, all of the lines, and uh, and turned them into a, well. There's a square going around each one of these. If you if you look at it, it do, 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 puts a square around it, right? So uh, what's this useful for? Now I, I need to point out that the the skin modifier is kind of flaky. It doesn't work exactly correct all the time. Let me see. Are any of these corners really bad? Uh, none of them are really bad. But if I were to take and start extruding out lines like this, um, we're eventually going to see. There it is. Some bad geometry being inserted here. Look at that. Ooh. Bad, bad geometry. Now, one way to fix that is to change which one's the root. If I mark this one as the root, no, that didn't quite work. Um, another way to do that is to add some geometry. So I'm going to hit Control R here and Control R and subdivide these. I'm going to grab these and hit GG. Did you know GG? Oh, fantastic. If you hit G once, you know, you can move things around. If you hit G twice, the movement is restricted to the edges nearby the point that you're moving, which is so cool. So I pinch it in there, and now, now it, the bad geometry is gone. So just by adding a little bit of extra geometry, you can fix the bad geometry. Let's add a skin modif- or not a skin. We don't need to skin the skin. Uh, let's add a subdivision surface modifier to this. Uh, and here's another thing that you do with the skin modifier. So if you hit Control A, you can scale up the weight of the point, or what it calls it in the property panels here. It calls it the radius, and the radius is fantastic because you can set the radius uh, to be whatever you want. Uh, let me see. Is that right? Is that actually two millimeters across? No, it is not because it's radius and not diameter. So let's just make these one. Keep on forgetting the difference between radius and diameter. There we go. And now these are approximately, actually they're exactly two millimeters across, but then they get smoothed. So, no, they're two millimeters. Yeah, and that's what you want to print with. You know, you want two millimeter walls. We've talked about this in the past. There will be a link on my face that will go back to the video where we talk about you want two millimeter walls. So there we go. There's the skin modifier. Now, hopefully you're looking at this and going, ooh, the cool things I could do with it. Let's... Let me show you an example really quickly of something cool that could be done with it. I'm just going to throw a plane down, just a, a plain plane. Ha. Scale it up by 10 and uh, apply a skin modifier to it. And oh, what happened here? This is way bigger. Remember when I did the skin modifier on the cube, it was all very thin. Why is this thick? Because I scaled it up out of edit mode. If I hit Control A and apply the scale, now the scale is happening here. We want to go in and make the radius one on these. There we go. I do not want to add a subdivision surface on here because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go move it over, oops, no, by 10. And 
I actually want to uh, triangulate this face, so control T. Well, why are you going the wrong way? Control E to open up the edge window and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, now I'll extrude this out uh, 20. I'll extrude this out 20. I'll extrude this out 20. I'll not extrude that out. I'm going to stop there. So here we go. There we go. And look! Anybody into model railroads? A little trussle bridge! What do you think? Here, let's see if we can... Let's take this to the next level and... Uh, extrude this 20. And get rid of these ones on the top here. Uh, edge select mode those and get rid of those edges. And now it's 90 degrees off from where it should be. And let's make sure that all of these, yep, these are one. That's groovy. I think I want to, I think I possibly want to edge select mode these guys and uh, subdivide them. Subdivide is right there. And there we go. Now it looks like a nice little, nice little train bridge. There we go. Real quick, simple. Now it's not, uh, it's not perfect. There's stuff going on here. How do we fix that stuff? Well, you know, one way is is uh, we could add more geometry. Another way is we could apply the modifier and edit it by hand. The skin modifier is not perfect, but it does some very cool things that we will talk about in the next video. Um, but I want to show you an example of something that I did with the skin modifier a little while ago. I don't know if you've had a chance to see this. Uh, I've had these models up for sale. This is a birdcage chest set. So this is the Rook with a rook inside of it. Crows are called rooks. Um, and uh, I, I, I've already applied the modification, but it, so it's kind of, it was inspired by a wireframe chess set. And so yes, I made the thing with uh, a chess set. And how did I make these bigger? I'll show you that in just a second. But I made this with the skin modifier, but not just that. The bird's feet were also made with the skin modifier. I just made the wireframe of the feet and then skin modified it and it worked great. So let me show you how to do the bigger and smaller thing. Well, I showed you with control A, you could scale it up. You just do it to individual vertices. I'm gonna just really quickly show you a, a quick and simple project you can do with the skin modifier for fun. Um, let's, oh, I'm not in uh, point select mode. Adding an ISO cube and uh, let's scale this thing up. All right, come on. Scale it up by a lot and apply that scale. And then we're going to add the skin modifier to it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and randomly select points. Hit Control A and make them... Actually, we want to hit control, have all of them be uh, radius of 1 which means I think we want this to be bigger. Yeah, all right, that's bigger. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, randomly select some points, hit Control A and scale them up. Uh, randomly select some other points, hit Control A and scale them up. There we go. One more time, one more time. Select. Random, control A, scale it, oop, that's down. Scale it up, and then we'll apply our subdivision surface to it. Oh, it falls off the bottom. Okay, there we go. And now, here's, we're going to use another trick. We're going to grab some of these and mark them loose, which means that the, uh, I wonder if they're all loose, what would happen? Oh, wow, you get kind of nice, like a nice little Veroni thing going on. Uh, so mark them loose and it doesn't have an obligation to like get into those corners, which is a good trick. Uh, I saw some bad geometry here, so maybe I'm going to subdivide this and see what if I can fix that bad geometry. Maybe subdivide it twice. That seems to have fixed the bad geometry. Any other bad geometry anywhere? Yeah, that's kind of a little funky there. So let's subdivide that thing. That seems to have fixed it. Any other bad geometry? And then what you do is you take and create a floor, cut this thing off 3D print it, and you got a really cool bowl.
huh? There's a neat project. So there's something you could do with the skin modifier. So the skin modifier had lots of options. It could make, uh, you know, artistic things. It could make uh, functional uh, things. And it can make beautiful artistic things. It's fun. It's easy to use. And next week, we're going to start making minis, little gaming minis, that are going to start with the skin modifier. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Hey, guys... This week was without a script. I just kind of had to throw it together because my other video that I had ready for you got swallowed up in technical difficulty. So, I'm sorry. Thank you guys for putting up with my shoddy videos. Thank you guys for subscribing and sharing. And if this has been useful and you like what you saw and you thought, hey, I know somebody who would love to play with this sort of thing, then please share it. Let other people know about it. I appreciate it so much. You guys are the wind beneath my wings. You guys inspire me to keep doing this. And as always, if you have any thoughts, any questions, any uh, any projects that you'd like to see me do in the future, then leave a comment. Don't remain quiet, and I will be sure to include them in the future. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. How's that bolt looking? Uh, still got some bad geometry. Going to have to keep subdividing to clean it up. All right, talk to you guys next week.